Have you ever wondered how that chicken breast you order at restaurants always comes out so crisp and perfect and juicy on the inside? Well, this morning on Today Food, we're going to actually show you tricks to make sure you can do it at home. And all you need is the right pan and a little lesson in technique from Dan Souza, a cast member on America's Test Kitchen and the executive editor for Cook's Science. Hey, Dan. Hey. Hey, Dan. Good Thanks so you. much for Good having me. Good to see me. you with our co-host, Harry Connick. I know. It's you so get exciting. to impress Harry Connick. Okay, that's great. I'm, okay. I'm really excited about it. So we're going to start with chicken breast, and we're going to get the skin really crisp. Speed, okay. Which everyone knows is Look a big challenge, side. right? It's hard to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a breast that has the bone and the skin. It's hard to buy boneless uh, skin on breasts. Okay. So we're going to take it off, which is a really simple technique. Use a sharp paring knife, and you're just going to cut down along the ribs here. Now, is, that, is it just a simple one-two kind of thing? Yeah, you're basically just following the curvature of the ribs. Because so that's intimidating, I'll be honest with you. But you're intimidated right a now? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so no, this is actually really just simple. Boom. Okay. Yep, so you take it off like this. Do you cook a lot of time? Back. I do. I yeah. cook like four times a week, but I've, I've never really gotten comfortable deboning. But this looks so easy. Was, you, you can't find easy, a right? breast with the, with the bone and the skin? I mean, that's with the boneless and the boneless skin? Boneless skin, no. Wow. Unfortunately, no. And so that's going to be key. So that we, was easy. We got that out. That that's was easy, right? That's very easy. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to poke it about 30 or 40 times in the skin. Now, this is a Key step. Okay. okay. You have a lot of fat under here, and you got to render that fat out in order to get the skin nice and, and crispy. And the fat will render out through those holes. Yep, exactly. Nice. It's like giving a bunch of channels for it to come out. And we'll okay. do a couple pokes over here. On the back side. Because we're also going to add some salt, and we want that salt to have a good mm. place to go. In. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's the next step. Simple so far, right? Right. Yes. The next thing is we want really good contact with the skin and the pan. That's how we're going to get it crispy. And we have a round chicken breast, right. which is no good, right? We don't want that. So you have this. Pound it out. Pound it out. Get so, your frustrations from a long day out right, on the chicken. Like, Harry, I'm sure you have really bad days. You're right, you come home, yeah. take it out on the chicken breast. Oh, yeah. Yep, pound I'll it do, down. That that's, sounds appropriate. <laughs> sounds you could appropriate. write a song about it, or you could pound the Wait chicken breast. Wait a minute. Breast, right? I already did. You wrote a Don't song. worry about it. It's what I do. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> so you pound it out. Yep, pound it out. So then we're going to go onto this rack over here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we all know that chicken breast can dry out pretty easily. Yeah. Right? Which is the big complaint. There's nothing worse than going out or cooking it, and it's to, the chicken is dry. Exactly. So yeah. we're going to do a couple of things. First is we're going to season it ahead of time with some salt on uh -huh. both sides. The pounding it out, is the, that's the best tip for me because uh -huh. it is rounded and you end, it's that one piece that gets burned and yeah. the other, yeah. It's just not even. Right. So what we're going to do, and I don't get to do this very often, I'm going to ask Harry Connick Jr. to put this in the fridge. It's for a once in a lifetime yeah. And then uh, there's another one in there. So that's been yeah. in there for about an hour. So this keep this out? in mind. Yes, yeah. please. Keep yeah. it in mind when you make this recipe, awesome. it does Thank require you. one hour refrigeration. Yep. So plan ahead. And up to eight hours, you can do it ahead if you want. Got it. Okay. So we're going to head up here. Okay. Now, um, I cook on cast iron almost all my meals. Cast iron is great. We're actually going to use the classic 12-inch skillet Perfect. here, which is super versatile. We're going to get some good sticking. That means we're going to get good fawn, that brown bits that yeah. we're going to build into a sauce. Okay. So that's key. So we're actually going to start with a couple tablespoons of oil in here. Olive oil? Uh, we're going to use olive oil, okay. yeah, but you could use veg oil if you wanted as well. Now, Some, do you let this mild. come back up to room temperature, the chicken? No, nope. we're going to start, start with the cold. That's fine. Oh, okay. We're going to put this, we're going to put the chicken in okay. cold. Wow. Cold pan, cold chicken. Oh, you don't even oh, get the oil cold pot pan first. too. Cold pan, cold chicken. Yeah. Which this is, is all news to me. Yeah. I would not have done that. I would have gotten the this oil is, hot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which is what you normally do. What's great about this method is it actually goes back to some classic French technique where they use. Well, duck Harry, breasts. you should know that you speak French. You told me. Je parle un peu de français, mais c'est très difficile pour moi. Exactly. Exactly what he it's said. It's all in my earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> you want Portuguese now? <laughs> I got it all. Can you? I, I bought the uh, the extended <laughs> version. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta yeah, Stone. That's, yeah, that's, that's what best. it was. So you get it hot. So, so we're going to put it over medium okay. heat, and what we're actually going to do is take this cast iron skillet okay. and put it on top. Oh. See, put the pressure is, on it. This is okay. we are so way really out of my league. We want to make sure we get to the gravy. Yep. So, so each side, go. how long? So you're going to go seven to nine minutes over here okay. until it gets cooked a little bit, yeah. flip it over, and then that's basically going to be done. And what? the heat is high, medium, did you say? Medium heat, yep. Okay. okay. So these guys are going to go over here, and we're going to use this great pan drippings right here. To make the sauce. And what do we do with that? That looks like a roux. It does look like a yeah. roux. We're gonna use some flour, okay. which is totally accurate. By the way, for like Dan's roux. recipe, you can go to today.com slash food. So you got your yep. it looks like a roux, as Harry pointed out. Yep. So we just get a little bit of um, browning and softening okay. on that shallot there. All right. And then we're gonna build our sauce, which is a, a little bit of the broth, and we've got the brine from the pickled cherry peppers Perfect. that we're using. Okay, we're almost done. So Harry, yep. dig in. Tell us what yes. you think. Oh, we got a little sautéed mushrooms. You can also yep. see so again all of this online. Get that super nice crispy skin. Got it. Man. Delish. Yeah. And so in our, in our book, we, we did, we did 50, really, 50 different really ingredients, good. deep dive like this, Woo! really reinventing chicken breast. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of
of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.